My name is Mark Bowen. I'm an orthopedic surgeon specializing in sports medicine. This video is to demonstrate an alternative technique for situations where the tendon harvest is shorter than ideal. The indications for our quadrupled single tendon technique include any acute or chronic ACL tear is preferred for patients with patellofemoral degeneration or a history of patellofemoral tracking issues or pain, when a patient prefers to minimize anterior knee pain or difficulty kneeling, and in revision of bone tendon bone reconstructive techniques. In a situation where the tendon harvest length is felt to be somewhat short and standard ideal overlap of both ends of the tendon by 12 millimeters is not possible, an alternative technique is used to first sew the tendon ends to each other. The same continuous loop of tendon is created between the ultra buttons, but the tendon is then sutured end to end. We then move the sutured area to the end adjacent to the loop of the ultra button. The tendon strands are sewn to each other with multiple crossing sutures in the exact same fashion as the standard technique. Typically, this is done with four crossing sutures tied with one knot, looped, and then tied again to secure and package this end of the graft for ultimate implantation into the tibia. Just as in the standard graft prep, a single suture is used on the closed end to package the graft and mark 10 to 12 millimeters that will go into the femur. The graft is tensioned up to 300 newtons for one minute to remove any laxity. Finally, the graft is sized and measured, marked for femoral and tibial tunnel implantation. Postoperative rehabilitation includes immediate weight bearing as tolerated. Physical therapy is initiated early without range of motion restrictions. And a locked brace is typical until quadriceps control is restored.